Hello and welcome back to another video of Excel macros. In this video, we will see how to save. While saving the attachment, we will be creating the folder to save the attachment and then we will rename the file as well. First of all, I will show you my Outlook mailbox. Here we have three emails, if you can see on your screen. And this is the subject. So what we want to do, we want to filter the emails by subject first and then we will save the attachment after filtering the emails i have already covered filter from for diff 10 different properties you can see the last video you can find the link in the description also now let's go to our macro file here it is and we just have to go and view the code and this is the this is from the filter that I was explaining in the last video. First of all, we require some variables. So I have created one folder here manually. Okay, and we will keep this as the main folder and inside this, we will create the folder by the date. Okay, so I have to declare two different variables. As a string and after this only we will just create new variables. I have taken one main folder, one daily folder. And my main folder path is this. I will copy it from here. After that, I don't need this filter. So you can see here, I am trying to filter the emails by subject first of all here. And this query will be there in the description. So you can copy from there. And if you want to put the filter with some other criteria, you can go and see the details in last video. And once I have the filter query, I have to restrict these emails. So you can see the restrict function here and I have used the filter query. And after filter query, what I have to do is I have to go through all the emails that comes under the filter. So I will use this total items here. Okay, this line. Now let's run the code and try. So you can see all those emails have come here. Details are there. That means the loop is working fine. So what I will do is I will just keep three values here. In A and B and C. Receive time in C. And second thing is like we want to create the folder. So for that what we have to do we have to we will take the time date and time to create the folder so to create the folder we have to format the time so my format is like this system format 13-11-2020 what i want to do is i want to change the dash to underscore so on your screen you can see i have formatted this is the format function and I am using message box just to display and then I am taking this mail item dot received time as the variable data and I am changing the date format like this. Let, let's run and see the result. You see it is showing the time in underscore format. Okay. And if you see the actual time that is something different for me now using this only we will create the folder and then we will save the time we will save the files so now this message box line is not required because it was only for testing let's write the code to save the file what i have done is i have created a daily folder variable already and then in the daily folder main folder which is here plus I am formatting the date and then this date will check that if folder exists or not exist if folder does not exist then only this program will create the folder so here I will add file system object Just enter to create little space okay. 
after creating the file system object we have to add reference those references Microsoft scripting runtime select okay now I'll run this and see it is done so let's go to the folder and check if the so you see the folder is just now created you can see the timing here and you can note the timing here all right so once we have the folder created but this folder there is nothing right we have to save attachments now inside this so just blow to this after creating the folder we will write the code so we will loop on each fold each attachment inside the email loop on attachments so here is the code to loop on each attachment what we are trying to do is we are trying to save the file as save the file as daily folder daily folder is our path which we have just created here using main folder and then whatever name of the file is coming we will we want to save with same file name we don't want to change right now that is the next step so i will just run this and see the script is done you can note the time here and let's go inside this folder check so you have all three files saved and details are available here now let me show you the files you can see the attachments here 21 16 11 same attachments are here now if you want to change the files file name so let's say we want to change the file name we want to add the sender name as well so my display name is showing something different but your display name might show like this so to save the file what we will do is we will add some code here so mail item dot sender name underscore we have added just before the file okay you can have a look on this this part so this code is inside this this for loop for attachment is inside the for loop of email item just remember that now let's run and see if the file names are changing i will delete the data also for your reference if you want to write the file path in the cell that also you can do so let's say what you can do is you can write this daily folder path into here if you want Okay, so just writing the folder path so that anybody can open the folder immediately. I will delete these files. This is the final one. Okay, so you see the folder path is saved here. Alright, and let's go and check. So you see the file name. Before file name, sender name is added and then whatever is the original file name is coming here. So you can have a look on this code right now. So the next to next topic is this saving the data from Outlook to Excel, Outlook mail body to Excel. Please hit the like button that will really help my channel to grow and if you can share your positive feedback in comments that will also be very helpful for me subscribe to the channel for more and more videos on macros rpa and python